All right, guys, we're back at it. It's spinnerbait day for the Christmas miracle. That's what we're calling this. Um, <laughs> I'm calling it the Christmas miracle because uh, I was just blessed with an unbelievable Christmas miracle today. Uh, I don't really talk about my personal life very much, but um, it's the best Christmas present I've ever gotten. My older brother, who um, I didn't talk to for a very, very long time, has been fighting cancer, and today, after fighting it for two years and uncountable amounts of operations and surgeries and therapies, he is cancer free. Yes. So I am in a fantastic mood and I am looking to tie a skirt. Uh, we are going to be doing a bluegill pattern. Guys, we've got a little bit of wire. We've got some tabs. We've got a green pumpkin blue. We've got a pumpkin green flake. We've got a, a light pumpkin also. We're going with a bluegill pattern. 3 8 ounce head, single Colorado blade. This is going to be the belly. This is going to be the back. So our dark pattern is going to be here. Our light pattern is going to be here. I've got some tools, clippers to cut the wire, needle nose pliers to tighten the wire. And we're off to the races. Where the pumpkin and the light pumpkin are going to be the body and the belly. And those are primarily going to go right here. So we're going to put those there. We're gonna grab one of our handy dandy girly hair ties. We're gonna grab our wire, which is formed in a U. We're gonna grab our back and kind of drape it. And we're gonna come right here to where we're going to tie. And we're gonna just make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Now we're gonna check our Coverage, pretty good. I'm gonna go one time around, two times around, and then one more. This wire I cut is a little short, that's okay. Before we cinch tight, we are going to kind of try and adjust this is the one area of my tying that needs the most work is adjusting at this point. But I think that looks really, really good. Tell you what, man, when it's your day, it's your day. We've gone around the collar three times. You wanna grab both with the needle nose and pull tight straight up. Then we're going to start a twist. And we're gonna twist around the wire 10 times. I'm tying it. I picked this color pattern because uh, I was out fishing the other day and I foul hooked a couple of large bluegill and they were, they had this kind of color to them. You know how fish change, or well, bass do in the winter time, they kind of get that golden hue, I like to call it. But I think I'm pretty good right there. Snip off some of the end. The spinner bait is pretty much done. Now, this is an old head that I've had painted for a while. Um, so I didn't have to paint the head or put on the blade or the clevis or any of that stuff. Excited to see how this pattern turned out. R&D. <laughs> Let's see this final product. Yeah, I'm liking that. For a bluegill pattern, absolutely. I think that'll get chewed. We just gotta tighten up that skirt a little bit. Yeah, it's got good bounce to it. It's a decent looking bluegill pattern. For a sixth grader, yeah. Throwing that in, pom in ponds. Absolutely. I think that thing's going to get chewed up. Now we got to make them a shad pattern. I really like to keep old skirts that I've taken off of other baits and kind of repurpose them. But it's real simple. I'm just going to pull this band off of here. And then I'm just going to hang my wire under here. And then I'm going to use that to kind of wrap around 
Uh, I've got some old chartreuse skirts here. I'm just going to pull off a little bit. I don't need a ton because I just want a little bit of color pop. I'm going to mix that in with the white. <clears throat> and just to give it a little ghostiness, I'm going to take a little tiny bit of uh, this blue craw. And I'm going to try and put this on the top. So it's going to kind of be like blue craw on top with white and chartreuse mixed beneath. Let's see how it turns out. We're going to use silver thread for this. This is the type of thread, craft wire, it's not thread, silver wire, craft wire. Benjamin Nowak turned me onto this stuff. Really like it. Let's see how this goes. This is a first time trying this method. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. So I've got my partial band of blue craw. I'm going to take my chartreuse and white, just kind of lay it on there. And then we're going to bring this to where I'm going to tie. We're going to wrap around once. And then we're going to try and spread it all out and even it out. Oh, let's not forget my handy dandy. Keep some of that thread out of my way. Hair tie. Okay, so we've essentially wrapped around here twice. Now we'll rotate and look for our coverage and adjust what we see. So I want more, I want the blue, really want the blue on top, but I guess it doesn't super duper matter. Wrap around one more time. That's three. This is just an old half ounce uh, double willow blade spinner bait. Okay, so I've got my wire pulled tight. Ten. Shorten those up. Come in with my needle nose. Now twist again. Ten. That should be nice and tight. Trim that up. Fold that over. Cut off any tab ends. And then we will adjust once we've got this guy out of the vise. I really enjoy the wire tie because it really helps that skirt like poof out, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and that's that's looking awesome. I'm gonna just trim that up just a little bit. I really like it when not all of the skirt is even that way you've got some short pieces and some long pieces and some pieces that kind of pulse and flow in the water you guys can barely see that blue craw in there but <clears throat> it gives it just a little bit of dimension let's see there you go that's a little bit better still man for a free spinner bait <laughs> Yeah, I'm digging it. Dinner baits are done. Larry, I'll have a package sent out to you by the end of the week.